Hi, this is Anil from Learning Lad with a video tutorial on C programming. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you a function which is used to convert the numbers in string form to its integer values. And uh, in a, to do that, we're going to use a function called a to i. And to use this function in your program, you need to include this stdelib, which stands for standard library dot head file. Okay, first we're going to see the syntax of this function, and you know, then we're going to see how to use this function in our program. So this a to i function is going to take a string which contains a number in string form and it's going to return the integer value of that uh, number present in the string. So we can say that this function is going to convert the string pointed by this str into an integer value. And also this string must contain a valid integer number and if it is not containing a valid integer number then, then the return value will be undefined. So in C, a string is an array of characters between double quotes. So let's say we have a number 12. So this is an integer number. And if I write this number in between this double quotes, then it's going to be a string value. So this is a string and this is an integer number. So this a to i function is going to take this string which contains an integer number and it's going to convert that to its integer value. So it's going to take 12, which is a string, and it's going to return the 12, which is an integer value. Okay, now we're going to see you know, how we can use this function in our program. So just for the demonstration purpose, we need a character array to store a string. That's why we're going to create one. And uh, let me call it as num1. And uh, let's assign a value of 1, 2, which is in double quotes that's why it's a string and the next thing that uh, we're gonna do is we're gonna create another character array num2 and also we're gonna store a value of 3 4 in double quotes that's why it's gonna be a string the next thing that uh, we're gonna do is we're gonna create two variables to store the integer value of these two strings and let me call it as number 1 and number 2 okay now we're gonna use this a to i function to convert the number in the string form to its integer value and we're gonna store that in this number one and number two variables that's why it's gonna be number one equal to a to i and we need to pass this string so it's gonna be num1 and uh, for num2 also we're gonna do the same thing and I'm gonna copy this and paste it in the next line and we're gonna change this one to number two and here also num two so now this number one and number two are gonna contain the integer value of these two strings so we can perform any operation that we do on the integer values with this number one and number two so just for the demonstration purpose I'm just gonna add these two numbers Okay, first we're gonna print out the values returned by these a to i functions or you know the values of this number one and number two. That's why I'm gonna write percentage d. Let's add a tab, then it's gonna be a percentage d again. And here we need to refer number one and number two. Okay, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna add these two numbers using number one and number two, and uh, the result is gonna be an integer value. That's why we're gonna write percentage d here and also we're gonna say number one plus number two okay that's it I'm gonna save this one and before that let's add a new line here okay compile and run okay you can see here for this string 12 in double quotes it returned a value of 12 and for this 34 it returned 34 you know these two are in integer form and also in the the second printf statement just added that numbers 12 plus 34 and the result is 46 you know which has been re returned here okay the next thing is the string that contains a number can be terminated by any characters that cannot be part of an integer number for example the string can contain uh, any characters such as white spaces punctuations or you know any alphabetical characters after this number so let's say we have dot three five 
so this dot is a character so this dot 3 5 will be present in this string and this a to i function is going to return only 12 because this dot cannot be a part of a integer number so this a to i function returns only the integer number present in the string in the beginning so if i save this one execute compile and run you can see here only 12 is returned and also the string can contain any alphabetical characters such as a and here 34 b so if i have that and and if i save this one compile and run okay okay now you can see here you know 12 a only 12 is returned 30 34 b only 34 is returned so 12 plus 34 equal to 46 okay the next thing is you know the string which contains the integer must have the integer values at the beginning of the string here so let's say we have a first then one two then a then uh, this a to i function is gonna return I don't know what the heck is gonna return let's check it out so it returns zero so to use this a to i function you should have a string and uh, in the string the beginning characters must contain our integer values okay this is it guys this is about the a to i function which is used to convert the numbers in a string to its integer values and uh, thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe if you guys have any doubt don't hesitate to put a comment in that video and uh, i'll see you in the next tutorial